dear student i am dr harold thomas professor in applied geology dr hari singh gorp vishwavidyalay sagar today in this course i will deliver my lecture on origin of sediments today i will proceed under the following heads introduction study the origin of sediments production composition transportation and deposition to the various type of sedimentary basin and know the process of sediments consolidation saltation and compaction hope it will be useful for you try to be regular in course a common man most common experience with geology possibly comes with form unwilling interaction with some sediments when there is a storm or when there was not raining the first reaction we have we have a squint over eyes try to protect them from the dust blown over to us by the wind when we go back to an area which has experienced a flood we find mud and silt very fertile land which is also a kind of sediments we go to the beach see the beautiful sands we play with that and that is also nothing but a sediments so the sediments and process is evolved of production of it it is an integral part is almost our everyday life before going into the detail let us first try to define what is a sediment sediment it is an accumulation of particulates material this particulates material is derived by mechanical and or chemical breakdown of previous rock this breakdown can be of due to the physical processes and or by chemical process for example when sun heats up the rock in a day and when it's a cool in the night the differential contraction and expansion develops cracks in the rock and with the advent of the rain water percolate beddings the cracks and finally large bodies of the rock broken down into fragments this is where both physical and chemical agencies are operating together to form sediments there are purely chemical sediments like that calcium carbonate the limestone when acted upon by some acidic water this calcium carbonate dissolved into the water and carried away so weathering is a natural process that produces some residue left over on the surface and some other portion taking away another word erosion is used to describe these processes but unlike weathering erosion not only break down the rock and decay is but also remove it either mechanically or more commonly in chemical solution when we talk about weathering we always think about sudden physical or chemical processes acting on the surface of the earth these processes are mostly like that by running water moving air calling winds running a huge body of ice and snow called glacier the action of the ocean on the coast the action of the gravity that pulls down rock 
from higher elevation to lower elevation and also biological agencies like big trees cracking open the rocks like a smaller bacteria taking things dissolution so sedimentation or production of sediment is due to a large range of processes which are generally grouped as weathering and erosion once the sediment is derived once the particulate material is derived from the breaking down of existing material it is carried by some of the agencies that has actually broken down the rock this carrying process is called transportation so transportation referred to the transfer of material derived from weathering or some agencies like running water like the moving bodies ice called glacier like ocean current to a place away from the place of origin therefore transportation need on agency to carry these agency as we mentioned earlier running water glacier moving current in the ocean the river is called agent of transportation weathering makes the beginning of a whole set of processes weathering is followed by transportation and transportation followed by deposition while transportation means the transfer of material by some moving agencies deposition refer to the dropping of the particulate material from the agency of the transportation to a place of accumulation these place of accumulation are called the basin one aspect of the weathering we must take care of this that while we see the mechanical breakdown of many rocks into smaller fragments but this breakdown are not always purely mechanical the weathering agency along with their chemical constituents can attack a rock break it down into smaller grains and further chemical attring them to completely a insoluble member like the clay minerals a mineral called feldspar when attacked by chemical agencies dissolved in water are reduced in size and break down chemically ultimately some minerals grain called clay minerals and grains of quartz having a composition of sio2 the material that is transported in a medium a total amount of material either transported mechanically or in solution is called the loads there is a three kinds of loads or that are involved in the transportation the finest of the material usually size of silt and also clay are transported by a process called suspension whereas the material is kind of well dispersed within the transporting medium a good example is the case where you see a very turbid water or a river where it is approaching its mouth that is towards the take of the sea the water contained very fine material in suspension because of the low viscosity of the water it cannot carry very large heavy grains but also can carry this finer material as a suspension load when such a river made a stable body of water the velocity almost come to the zero and the suspension material gradually get dispersed 
inside the sea but remain floating such a long time and therefore thereby study of this pattern the way they are floating and the way they are flowing identifies the current at the mouth of big river this the second mode of transportation is by called bets load large grain are dragged rolled over the bottom of a river even if there is a very low velocity and the other portion of the load is mainly suspended load some amount of the bed load that are large grain pebble size alike the load or dragged at the bottom the bottom of the river is called the bed of the river and such load is called a bed load the third kind of transportation is a very curious method called saltation in the saltation process the gr grains and some large grains are moved forward with the help of the principle that keeps the air craft flying the principle of flying of a aircraft is bernoulli's principle it say that if there is a velocity difference of flowing medium between the two surface of an object the upper surface the velocity of the medium is very high whereas the bottom surface the velocity is low then pressure difference created on the top surface of the of the object and the object is lifted vertically as it happened in case of the wings of an aircraft the make the bernoulli's principle helped it fly the wings have cross section which is convex upward and very flat in the downside pebbles of similar shape resting on a bottom of a river bed face the same kinds of force the velocity of any river or any flowing liquid become very to zero near the base of the flow that is on the bottom of the river as one move vertically upward into the river into the flowing water or into the flowing of wind in case of atmospheric lifting the velocity increases gradually therefore we have the perfect situation of that like a wing of an aircraft the bottom part of the pebbles they rest on the bottom of the river that is the bed same such bed are much more flat compared to the upwardly convex up upper surface as a result of higher velocity above the surface and lower vel velocity at the bottom that is the pressure difference created and this particular grain is lifted above the bed as it is lifted vertically there is also a horizontal force pushing its upward the flow in the direction of a flow so as it is lifted the grain climbs up into the water while moving forwards leaving a curved trajectory after reaching certain elevation the velocity difference at the two surface the top surface and the bottom surface of the grain drop as a result by attraction of gravity because of its weight the grain has to calm down so when it start 
the downward journey is still there are force of moving forward of the flowing river so it's move downward and forward the total trajectory of such a grain likes a shape of a parabola convex upward this type of movement is called a saltation while suspension bets loads and saltation refers to the transportation of the load by mechanical processes material can also be transported by chemical solution this solution comes out to the water when the chemistry of the solution changes between the place of origin and the place of accumulation that is the basin again the example comes from the calcium carbonate is one of the perfect example of transportation of material in the chemical solution in the modern day destruction of the coral reef coral are animal made up of calcium carbonate they are sedimentary they stick to the bottom surface of the sea because of the pollution of the sea water when the water become acidic it dissolve the coral that is of calcium carbonate and removed it to be deposited somewhere else where the acidity of water is much low so to summarize the method of transportation the transportation take off after the weathering erosion is a bridge between weathering and transportation it breaks down the rock and also transport it there are two different way in between the material is transported one by the mechanical force of the flowing medium with the water and wind and the second is in chemical solution deposition after transportation comes the process of deposition because after all a sediment is defined a accumulation of particulates matter so in order to accumulate it must comes out of the transportation agency so sediments the process involved in production of it is an it marginal part of almost our everyday life these processes are mostly like that running water moving air called wind running huge body of ice and snow called glacier the action of the ocean on the coast the action of gravity that pulls down rock from higher elevation to lower elevation and also biological agencies like big trees cracking upon the rocks like smaller bacteria taking things in dissolution so sedimentation or production of sediment is due to a large range of processes which are generally grouped as weathering and erosion now will we will discuss the process of deposition depositional or deposition refer to settling of the load from the transportation medium to the bottom of the basin of accumulation deposition therefore involves two kind of processes one mechanical another chemical let us first see what caused the deposition of mechanically transported load a material is transported by a moving fluids say for a example water as long as the fluid has enough energy of movement that is kinetic energy to carry the weight of the load the kinetic energy is directly proportional to velocity 
so as long as there is a high velocity there will be high amount of kinetic energy available and the river will be able to carry the very heavy load comprising large boulders pebbles and also finer grains one however if the river slow down then the kinetic energy drop as a result the load cannot be carried forward any more and deposited at the bottom as an accumulation of sediment it is interesting to note that there are situation where the velocity of moving water measured over a single point on the course of river gradually determine that means to start with it is a higher velocity higher kinetic energy so it will be able to only very coarse grain with the passes of time the velocity drops and more and more finer beds loads will be deposited on top as a result it will be create an accumulation of sediments a large within the sediments where whose grains size will be very high at the bottom and gradually it will be become finer and finer going up indicating that the velocity of the flowing medium gradually minimized or dismissed over the period of time such beds are called graded bedding and there are of great importance in identifying environment under which it was deposited the chemical weathering of deposition need a major change in the chemical environment of the basin where the environment of the basin where the load is brought by some fluid if some load come in chemical solution say carbonates and carbonates are dissolved in acidic solution if the basin now has a lower acidity then the carbonate especially the calcium carbonate carbonate will not be solution anymore so it will be deposited therefore the chemical precipitate in a basin is a direction indicator of the nature of the chemical available at the time of deposition it may be happen that the solution brought into the deposition basin experience difference in kind of chemical environment during the different parts of the year at one point of the time it has become acidic in the case of the carbonate be deposited in another time it may be less acidic then carbonates will be deposited therefore the fluctuation of environment especially the chemistry of it directly control the nature of chemically precipitated sediments another example of chemical precipitation is that of deposition of evaporite a group of sediments formed by the evaporation of the water evaporation of water from a solution lead to super saturation of the material dissolved in water after crossing a threshold value of saturation the water cannot hold the entire chemical load and they are deposited common salt gypsum anhydrides and the mineral silvites made up of potassium and chloride are perfect example of evaporite the other 
very important method of deposition, especially very effective in ocean and sea, is that by biological activities, lots of organism starting from real small bacteria to a large gastropods secretes calcium carbonates out of the water, the marine water which contains calcium carbonate. These organisms extract from the marine water dissolved calcium carbonate to build their cell. In addition to calcium carbonate scratching organism, the other organism which extract a, a compound of silicon and oxygen from the sea water. Such group of organisms are of example diatoms and radiolarians. So, when they die, their shell accumulate at the bottom of the sea forming sediments. As we discussed earlier, a very prominent example of cal calcium carbonate deposited by organic means as the coral reefs weathering and erosion breaks down rock into sedimentary particles, transportation carried it to a place of accumulation, deposition from a accumulation of sediments by allowing them to settle on the bottom of the basin, so a piles of sediments is produced by the operation of weathering and erosion followed by transportation and finally by deposition. But as we described earlier, sediments are loose particles, they have not consolidated into a solid object called rocks. In order to change the sediments, the accumulation of the piles of sediments into a rock called sedimentary rock, the, the sediments pile has to undergo consolidation and diagenesis. Sediments are deposited one layer on top of another layer after a while a thick pile of sediments are accumulated in the area of accumulation which is at the bottom of the basin. The sediments accumulation at the bottom are pressed from the above by the weight of the overlying sediments the that squeeze the spaces left between the individual sedimentary grains that squeeze out the fluids from there, the volume available for the fluids demise. This is called reduction of pores space when the weight applied on the top of the sedimentary layer, it loses the fluid, it loses its thickness and the grain comes closer to each other. This is actually a process of compaction of sediments. This lead to the lowering of the pores spaces in addition to the process of compaction by just moving the grains closer together and squeeze out the pores space. There are biochemical or chemical processes that add to the solidification of sediments. New chemical materials are precipitated in the pores space that hold the loose grains together like cement. Cement is a product by lithification process usually referred to as a part of diagenesis. Now we will examine what is diagenesis. Diagenesis is in compass all the physical and chemical process that starts immediately after deposition of the sediments and the processes that continued 
till the complete lithification of the sediments. The domain of diagenesis therefore extend from deposition of sediments to deformation of the sedimentary rocks by completely lithification. Diagenesis had two components. One that is a physical part as I described earlier and one of the important process of the diagenesis. Reduction of the pore space by bending of the softer grains under width by the overlying sediments around hard grains they by reduction the pore space. The chemical processes of diagenesis is twofold. One, it is precipitated cement in pore space and cement can be of very many different kinds. Common cements are that of silica, oxide of silicon and calcium carbonate and at times iron oxide. The other part of the diagenesis is attraction of already deposited organic material into some other form like charge of organic material into kerosene which are very high density organic molecules with very low solubility. The kerosene on heating producing oil and natural gases. Now there is a big controversy regarding whether should be the boundary of the diagenesis we drawn as we said the diagenetic process start immediately after deposition and continuous till the lithification. Now most of the worker agreed the temperature range of diagenesis run between 20 degree centigrade to 200 degree centigrade and the pressure during the diagenesis never exceed more than 1 kilo bar. It is 1000 times that of the atmospheric pressure beyond that range. When the temperature is higher, diagenesis merge into a process called metamorphism. And at the other hand, where the temperature is lower than a boundary between the surface processes of weathering and diagenesis. <laughs> Sedimentary rocks make up about three quarters of the rock at the earth's surface. They form at the surface in environments such as beaches, rivers, the ocean and anywhere that sand, muds and other type of sediments collected. Sedimentary rocks preserve a record of the environments that exist when they formed. Fluids such as wind and water as well as the sediments flowing via gravity transported previously eroded sediments which at the lose of enough kinetic energy in the fluid is deposited. Building up the layers of sediments for further studies, please read the textbooks, references and links given in the text. Thank you very much.